Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get an NPC to follow you inside of the game, inside of Roblox Studios. So let's get started. Alright, so what we're going to do first, guys, you want to go and head over to Toolbox and add in a model or NPC. Now, you can really add anything you want, but I'm going to be using this noob that I found off of Toolbox. Make sure they don't really have any other scripts uh, other than animations, uh, because we want to make sure no other scripts will interfere with the ones that we're about to make. So what you guys want to do, just right inside of the NPC model, you want to add a script. You could rename the script for organization, but I'm just going to start off. So we're going to first add our variables. So we're going to do local uh, position torso is equal to script dot parent dot torso uh, dot position. All right. And this is what this will do is basically calling the um, NPC's torso because, again, the torso is the main part of the model. And we need to get that part to follow us. Um, so now we're going to go down and we're going to add in a function. So we're going to do function. And uh, we're going to call it uh, find nearest uh, player. And then we're going to add two brackets. And inside of these brackets, we're going to do uh, POS for position. And you want to uh, click enter. And it's going to go down and add a end. And you want to go add a bunch of other uh, variables. I'm going to go with local list is equal to game dot workspace uh, and then colon children. And when I go down, we're going to add the local torso is equal to nil because we don't have a specific torso that we're looking for. Then we have local uh, distance. And what we want to do here, guys, you can really do anything you want. Um, now, if you want the player to, I mean, if you want the NPC to follow you no matter where on the map the NPC is at, just put a bunch of zeros here, just make it like a crazy number. If you want it to be specific, like if you get a specific distance away from um, the NPC, it will stop following you or it will start following you basically. So just for tutorial, I'm going to do, let's say, let's do 50 for now and we can change it later. Then we we'll do local temp is equal to nil. And we're going to do local humanoid is equal to nil. And we're going to do local temp2 is equal to nil. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to do 4x is equal to 1. And we're going to add a comma. And we're going to add a hashtag. And we're going to do list. And then do. We're going to go down. And we're going to do temp2 is equal to list. And I'm going to add square brackets. I'm going to do x and then inside those square brackets. We're going to go down and add a bracket. Or sorry, if uh, if statement and then add a bracket. And we're going to do temp2 is uh, temp2.class name is equal equals. Meaning you just got to check if temp2's class name is equal to mode1. And uh, we're going to do another temp2 is not equal. So you want to add this little uh, squiggly line thing. That means not equal to, uh, not zero. What am I writing? All right. So not equal to script dot parent. Then we're going to go down and we're going to do temp2, or sorry, just temp is equal to temp2. Uh, and we're going to do colon find first child and inside here we're going to do the um colon or speech marks i mean i'm going to do upper torso then we're going to go down i'm going to do humanoid is equal to temp two again find first child and this time uh what just happened find first child we're going to do inside here we're, this time we're going to do humanoid and we're going to go down. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to add another if statement. So if temp is equal, uh, sorry, is if temp is not equal to nil, add a closing bracket. And add another bracket, we're going to do humanoid is not equal to nil. Then, and then now we're going to add a closer, uh, closing bracket again. And then we're going to add another and. Another set of brackets, and we're the humanoid dot health is greater than zero. Add a bracket, and then we're gonna do then we're gonna go down 
I'm going to do if another if statement and inside these brackets again we're going to do temp dot position minus the position of the the position like the name of the function up here and I'm going to close the bracket here and we're going to do dot uh, magnitude is uh, smaller than the distance and then we're going to go down with torso is equal to temp and then we're going to do distance is equal to add a bracket we're going to do temp dot position make sure it's a capital P minus the uh, name of the variables of position or the function and we'll do dot magnitude and that's our first part of the script done now we're going to go down and just on this uh second last end we're going to go down here we're going to return and then we're going to do torso just like that and i want to scroll down all the way to the bottom and now we just need to finish up our uh function so we're going to do while wait and inside of the brackets we're going to do uh, let's do 0 0.15 you can go ahead and play around with this uh the amount of time you're gonna wait uh but yeah 0 0.15 seems fine i'm gonna go down and do local target is equal to find nearest player and we're gonna do position torso and then we're gonna add another if statement we're gonna do if target uh is equal to find nearest player or sorry if uh target would be all right so now what we're gonna do now is do if target is not equal to nil then we're gonna go down and we're gonna do script dot parent dot humanoid no, dot humanoid and then we're gonna do colon move to so now just move we're gonna do move to target dot position And then we're gonna skip this end and go below it and we're gonna do position torso is equal to script dot parent dot uh torso and then dot position what this basically does is just uh make make sure that the uh player uh, so the npc's torso is gonna find the nearest player basically and then move its torso to the location of that player's torso in other words just follow it basically uh, but yeah we're gonna start off both the distance we're gonna start off with 50 and i'm gonna respawn myself a little far so like right about here i think this will be a little just above 50 studs all right guys and now that we are in the game you can see that the player i mean inside the npc is not following me because i am farther than the 50 stud range now if you don't know what 50 or what studs are it's a unit measurement that Roblox uses in their games or on, on their platform. But as you can see, right when I enter the 50 stud range, it starts to follow me. And I'll just jump over him. He'll kind of jump after me if I jump over him, honestly. But you can see that he'll follow me everywhere I go. Now, if I stop the game and I go back to the script and I change this 50 to just a huge number, no matter where I kind of must pretty much join, it will always follow me i feel i should make this a bit bigger but yeah, you can make this huge so even if i was to spawn at the other side of the map it will still follow me all right so yeah you can see he's following me pretty far but if i was to like get a bit closer you can see he's kind of running after me just moving his way towards uh, my player or my character uh but yeah that's basically for this video if you guys want to know how to add animations into this that will be a separate video or you could find a script separately on uh tuba on the toolbox because i cannot include the animation script because those are huge they're like 100 lines and i feel like the video will be like 20 30 minutes long uh, but yeah and if you guys have any other questions about us uh, about this you guys can ask in the description below or in the comment section below yes you can also add a kill script to this so in those games where there's a zombie that chases you and every time you touch it, it kills you you can add a kill script in this that where whatever like thing the torso touches is it'll give damage to it basically i will be making a separate video on that uh, if you guys want to see that video comment down the section below uh, but that's basically for this video so hopefully you guys did enjoy be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video
hey guys so as you know if you saw my new community post on my channel i have announced our next robux giveaway live stream it will take place when the channel does hit 3000 subscribers now there will be a separate information video that i will post when the channel reaches 2900 subscribers which will give everyone enough time to enter now the rules will be the exact same as usual you have to be subscribed to the channel be in my roblox group and comment down your roblox username uh, on the information video now like i said before the information video is currently not uploaded yet and it will be available at 2900 subscribers but what you can do now is subscribe and subscribe to the channel and join my roblox group linked in the description below of all my videos and yeah i'll see you guys then good luck